Well, I grew up in Jay, Oklahoma, actually, just about 60 miles northeast of Tahlequah, where I live at now. Turkey was my first language, and there for many years, uh, after when I was growing up, especially after high school, I didn't use my language as much as I should have. When I started working with Turkey Nation back in 1991, I started in housekeeping for about seven years. Then almost seven years, a week shy, I was in the work in the mailroom. And that's where the, my supervisor at the time, that's where she encouraged me to use my language, especially after I learned how to read and write. She said, I hate to lose you, but that's what you need to do. And I was, I'm glad that she encouraged me to do that. And, and so from there on, as the saying goes, the rest is history, so. My name is Dennis Sixkiller and my title is a Translator Specialist. In 2015, I was recognized as a Turkish National Treasure for my language, and I was honored to be picked. You know, and I'm glad that I was and try to live it. <laughs> Former host David Scott, he asked me one time, I said, would you like to be the host of the radio program? Actually, I thought he was really kidding. But I just laughed about it and just went on. And I said about six months later, he said, I'm getting ready to, to move on and do other things. I'm getting ready to uh, give this up. So if you want to you recommend you, I would. I said, well, I guess I can try. Back then, it was called our Trek Nation radio show. Don't know exactly when it changed. We had a competition to people from, who had input from the communities. And somebody came in with turkey voices and turkey sounds. I can't remember who it was, but they won the contest. And so that's what, what it's been since then. Turkey voices and turkey sounds. And turkey is called Tzalak Kanega, Alek Tzalak Tzalak And when it first began, it was a 30 minute program and it was all in turkey. But then later when it became an hour program, it was turkey and in English. And the, when it first began, we used the cassette tapes. <laughs> I used to run them over to, Station Talcaw, turkey tape it each week, and then later on went to CDs, and finally went to internet. The main purpose is to get the language out, and uh, I do interview elders. They speak turkey, and most of them speak turkey only. I'll announce on radio, turkey speakers, if you want to be on the radio program, call me, and some of them have done that. They've come to the radio studio. They, I've interviewed them right there, and sometimes I'll tell them I'll come to your house, wherever you live. I've been as far down to Van Buren here recently, in the Muldrow and the North. And what I've seen of our elders is that they really miss the language. This one guy kept on saying, boy, I said, I'm sure glad you came to visit me. Because I mean, the elders out there, they don't hear the language anymore. And if they miss a program, they'll sure call me or they'll call the radio station. Then the one lady that told me years ago, I said, don't go, don't go getting sick and dying off on my or anything like that, because I really enjoy the radio program. You know? 18 years, yeah, as of last month. And so I like to tell you that, but I've been trying for 18 years now, so I'm still trying. <laughs> <laughs> and I've enjoyed it. Really have, I've met so many wonderful people throughout the years. And I have people from, coming from other states, Missouri, Texas, and I think the farthest call, one I had to call was from Australia one time. They went from Canada and, of course, throughout, throughout America, so. Yeah, well, kind of highlights, but like my siblings and the things that, I, that I've done throughout the years. I've been a radio host and like doing parade and doing the holidays all in Turkey, doing the parade. and. And also the, the community games, I, I participate in that. And wherever I go, I try to use a little turkey here and there. And if I can do it, they can do it too. And what the, what I would really uh, try to get across to the speakers, but not readers and writers, they'd be surprised what they can do if they could learn how to read and write. They could write books or whatever their, their autobiography or whatever they want to. Everything they can write all in turkey, and they don't realize that because they can't. They can talk about it, but right now they can't write it down. And to me, it's important to write stuff down because one day I say, hey, my dad, my grandpa, my mom wrote this, you know, and but if they can't, they don't learn to read and write, then they're not gonna be able to do that. And I would really encourage them for those that are maybe watching to learn how to read and write if they're speakers, you know, and we really encourage them to do that because there's 
there's no limit to what they can do. I want to invite everybody to come and visit the Saline Courthouse in Rose, Oklahoma, and come and see my exhibit. Why don't?